Hello everyone, my name uh, is Mohammed. Welcome to a new video. Today we will talk about uh, Kibana dashboards. Uh, Kibana dashboard is uh, give you the opportunity to create a view uh, that pull uh, together chart, maps, filter, uh, you name it, to display the full picture of your Elasticsearch data. To be able to do that, you can click here on a dashboard or you can come here and you go to analytics and you go to dashboard <coughs> click on create dashboard we have uh, some options here so if you create it from scratch you can click on uh, create visualization this will redirect you to uh, lens here as you saw in the previous video how to how to use lens to create visualization uh, you can also use the aggregation sorry here uh, is the map you can use it as well and and you can also go with the aggregation based visualization and you you choose your visualization and you create it from scratch this is how this is this is the same say is the same thing that we saw uh, last time with with the visualization for now uh, what we did last time we create a visualization let's just double check so this is our visualization we can we can filter it based on the tag and here we have all the visualization that we create last time and as you can see here the type of the uh, of the visualization so now it will be a really easy thing to do is just click here add uh, or uh, import from a library use the tag to filter and here we go we have our or we have all um, uh, visualization that we uh, we need so it's now the how to import is just um, is just click on the visualizations itself and it will automatically uh, import it or get it imported to our visualization so this is how we do it uh, the other thing uh, we can import to our dashboard we can import the visualization and also we can import uh, save it search if you remember last time or in the first video when we see discover when we saw discover let me just save it give it a tag here and save it now <coughs> we will return back to it for uh, for edit so as you remember so we come here to discover and we click on open we have our save it search so this is our first save it search we can this this table or the result of the save it search we can also import it uh, to our dashboard how we can do that is the same dashboard so uh, add from library and here the type we can as you can see here we have uh, different types we are looking for save it search and this is our save it search you click on it and here we go so now we have two four six eight we have eight visualization so now we can customize our dashboard as you can see it's just drag and drop you don't need to do any uh, anything specific so it's just in this way on second let's put this way in the bottom or let's put it here and we can maximize the view of this visualization you can drag it in the top or the bottom you can do whatever you want um, so by default it's come like this half screen but we can all the time modify it as we as we like so this is how how it works uh, the last thing is we have this control it's control it's kind of filter that we can uh, we can add it so 
you choose uh, the data view or the index and here you, you choose the field that you want to create a control or a quote-unquote uh, filter uh, let's say destination country and save it all right so we have it here we can so you click and it will give you all the uh, all the 31 options that you can choose you can choose one or you can choose more and if you may notice it's uh, applied automatically on the uh, on the visualization uh, or all the visualizations or uh, on the dashboard so all the results that we have here it's coming from the uh, filter that we create you can remove it uh, quickly or you can let's return it back and save the and save the uh, the filter or save all the dashboard so we said destination country country name oh sorry so let's go with the destination country yeah so uh, we can save it now again so another options that we can uh, we can do it's um, if we want to use this dashboard for uh, for a report or if you want to uh, use it as uh, embedded in another page for to show to the customers or whatever we have this point here we have share so you can choose whatever it works for you you can you can share the link you can share um, share it as a PDF or as an image you can generate a, generate it as a report so you click you generate a report here and so you can click here to find the report or you can come here to management and you see here reporting so this error is uh, expected um, uh, the, the minimum RAM should be uh, two, 2 gigabytes for uh, for Kibana and since we are using the free version it's only uh, it's only uh, one gigabyte and we cannot uh, modified since it's uh, trial and the free uh, free uh, version but in your case in the production for sure Kibana will be at least two gigabyte of RAM for one instance or more so you will be able to generate the report and you download it as a PDF or as a PNG and you use it in your report or whatever you want to use it so to summarize uh, this last three videos we saw discover how to use all the different features here how to play with your data we saw also um, the visualization library uh, how to create visualization using the different uh, features or using aggregation based uh, lens maps uh, vega so uh, we we use all the or we learn how to use all of them and finally or in today video we saw how to uh, how to use or how to create uh, a dashboard so I hope you like the video and you learned something please let me know if you have any uh, question I'll try my best to help and uh, see you next video